Screen Printer Mike here with a screen printing art separation tutorial in Adobe Illustrator. During this exercise, we will start with a bitmap image, convert it to vector, change it into spot colors, and create the white underlay. When finished, this art will be ready for film output for screen printing. Let's dive in. This is a bitmap image I downloaded from Google Image for this exercise. Under the Window menu, select Image Trace. Change the mode to Color and set the number of colors to 4 and select Preview. If the preview looks good, which it does in this case, go to Object Image Trace Expand. Now you already have scalable vector art. It has this white frame on the outside and I want to get rid of that. So using the Direct Selection tool, select the outside of the frame and delete. There, it is gone now. This is a grouped object, so go to the Object menu and ungroup. Sometimes it takes a couple of times of ungrouping to fully do this. Select one of the purple shapes, and then under Object Same Fill Color, Illustrator will select all the purple objects in this art. Group it. Right now, all this art is colored in CMYK color space, and we need to change all these colors to spot colors for outputting film separations. With the group of the purple selected, go to Edit, Edit Colors, Recolor Artwork. This will bring up a menu where you click on the submenu and select Color Books, Pantone, Solid Coded. Hit OK, and now that spot color appears in the Separations Preview window. Turn on the preview and you can hide the purple and as you can see the rest of the colors are still sitting in the CMYK color space. Do the same for the other colors. When I get to the white in the art, I create my own spot color by selecting the group of white and creating a new swatch. Double click on the new swatch and set the color type to spot color. Most production artists will color the spot white a light shade so you can visibly see it within the art. This is because the artboard is white. This is a good practice to have. Also rename this color spot white. I display it as a light magenta once again so we can see it. Now in the separations preview window you can turn off all the spot colors and see a blank canvas if the seps have been done correctly. In screen printing, we need to make an underbase white to print under the colors in the design. I select everything and make a copy and paste it on a second layer. Then I will lock and hide the first layer. We will not underbase the black in this job, so I select all the black out of this layer and delete it first. Then select everything else, color it white in the swatch menu, and create a new swatch. Double click on the new swatch and switch the color type to spot color and rename it underbase white. I color the underbase white a light cyan color so that it will be visible and not confused with the spot white which is light magenta. Now I will merge all of these shapes together in the pathfinder menu. After the merge I set the fill and stroke to none and then select object same fill color. This will select anything without color in this layer. It is junk left over from the merge and needs to be deleted, so hit the delete key. Now the underbase white is all one nice piece that will print under all the lighter colors in this job. Most printers want the underbase white choked back a little bit or smaller than the top colors to give them a little tolerance on the press, so we will do that now. Select the white that was just made and add a one point stroke aligned to the center. Select Object Path Outline Stroke. Now select All and Merge in the Pathfinder window. Select the red outline and Object Same Fill Color. Hit the Delete key. Now the white is choked back half a point where it sits under all the colors except black where it is not underbased as planned. In the Separations Preview window, if you hide all the colors, you can reveal the seps just as they will be printed starting with the underbase white, then gold, purple, and now spot white. See how the combination of spot white and underbase white appear purple now? And lastly, the black. If you need to make a mock-up for your print team or customer approval, hide the underbase and temporarily change your spot white to look white and then select all. 
Copy and then paste this file into a t-shirt blank in Photoshop. Scale it down and place the art and save as a JPEG. I hope this has given you a basic understanding of how to separate art in Illustrator so it's ready for film output for making screens. Like and hit that follow button and thanks for watching.